how many times I've been making this video. It's always every time I had to make more takes. Um, anyways guys, FHRC Brony here, and if you guys have seen my tr previous videos on Tracks Driver 31, my primary channel, I've actually went swimming earlier, that's why I'm in a different house. Anyways, um, I'm going to be talking about something called an immobilizer in an immobilizer in a automobile. Usually in the old Ferraris, like the 512TR, Testarossa, uh, probably in the F50, F40, the... 550 Maranello and the Ferrari 360 Modena, just to name a few. And what what is that? If you don't know what it, what an immobilizer looks like, I will put a video. Uh, well, not a video, but I will put a picture right now. That picture that you saw right there is an immobilizer from a Ferrari 360 Modena. And what does that do? It just basically just it's like a timer in a kind of way to turn on your engine so basically it's a it's a timer for the, to start the car kind of thing so how does that work so I made a little flow map here to show you how it works I'm gonna grab the pen here step one your first thing to do is to unlock the car using the key fob or just unlock the car manually like what you do when you're opening a door of a house step two put the key into the ignition and start the car up within let's say 10 seconds and if 10 seconds run out the immobilizer will kick in and probably you will make this kind of face in rage all right so what you're gonna do for if that's the case you when you get that angry face step four remove the key from the ignition ignition switch and get out of the car once you get out of the car, close the door and re-lock the car and repeat the process over and over again if it doesn't work for you. So basically, what I'm trying to say here, to keep it in simple terms, you get in the car, start the car up, well first of all, you unlock the car, get inside the car, close the door, open, uh, turn on the en engine within 10 seconds. And if 10 seconds is up, the immobilizer kicks in and the car won't start. So you have to remove the key off the ignition switch get out of the car, close the door, and relock the car and repeat the process over and over again. That is, the immobilizer in a Ferrari is the most irritating and most annoying thing that any Ferrari owner of the 1980s and the 1990s would experience. Or even people today who tends to drive a Ferrari made in those years. So, there is a way to bypass it, but you know, if you're quick enough to start the car up, and if you're that kind of person that you just want to start the car up and just listen to that beautifully sound engine out of a Ferrari, great job. You Ferrari owners who happen to own a 360 Modena or a Testarossa or whatever old Ferrari you have, it could be a world's expensive F50 or an F40. Why do you have to go through that? Because you are rewarded. If you, if you are going to get yourself an old Ferrari like that, you start the car up as soon as possible, with, let's say within 10 seconds. If you start the car within that, that amount of time, you are rewarded with this. That, that right there is very rewarding. And you will never forget that time when you first start that car. You will, love, you will immediately love that sound. So that's the whole point of the Ferrari immobilizer. Ferrari is like, the people who work for Ferrari who are making the car like the Ferrari F40, the F50, 360 Modena, 550 Maranello. Ferrari is like, mm, I want you, since you bought the car, I, we want you to start the car right now because we're, we, we are very excited to hear that sound. Your first impression when you hear that sound. That's what Ferrari was like, okay? So I know it sounds infuriating, and I know it sounds frustrating for you guys, but at the end of the day, once you start the car, you're glad. You are so happy that you heard that engine for the first time you first drove it, right out of the factory. Or the first day or, or first day of your weekend to drive the car. So like I said, yeah, I know it sounds infuriating, but it's rewarding at the end. So that is it all, guys.